Hey everyone, Shane the Building Biologist here. Uh, got a tip for you today about your computer area. This is a place where a lot of EMFs can come at you. And one that I'm looking at right now is called an AC electric field. And of course, any EMF produced by your computer can get onto the keyboard and then onto your body. So if you're working on your computer over some number of hours every day, it can be really debilitating. And uh, we're looking at AC electric field right now, which has to do with the power, the electricity. And you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but it's about 57 volts per meter. It's pretty high, much higher than we'd like it to be. One of the ways that that AC electric field can um, get out of hand like this is through the actual power delivery and the wiring of the computer itself. Uh, but another way it can happen is through the Ethernet connection. A lot of people switch to Ethernet to reduce Wi-Fi EMF exposure, which is really smart. But did you know the Ethernet cable can also put voltage and current onto your computer and then onto your body? So what we're doing in this house is making use of an Ethernet grounding adapter. You can see Ethernet one side, the other side has a port. And then this wire that goes in and, and connects to the grounding component of your home electrical. So we're going to take the Ethernet cable they're using now out of the wall. You can hear the sound change a little bit on the meter. And we're going to plug these two together. Plug them in here. And then we're going to see what we got. And it's not a huge decrease. A lot of this is coming from the power, but now we are below 50. So this is a really easy thing you can do to ensure that you're not adding EMF to your body when you switch to ethernet. And I'll put a link to this in the description.